Hey guys, you watching? Because you want to know My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. I'm just putting down the checkered pattern that we have in the middle here. A lot of you are starting to uh, to grow on it now. A few of you at first were like, uh, I don't really like like where this is heading. I don't I don't really like the look of some of the stuff that he's done. But I don't let you down uh, too often. I hope I don't let you down too often. It's like an artist's painting. If you look at an artist's painting when he first starts, or any drawing, even a drawing that you've done, when you first start and you've got these sort of really rough sketch lines and it looks terrible, you think, this isn't ever going to get any good. But if you stick to it and you keep it up, You'll find that very quickly, you'll actually get something that you really, really like. Uh, and it'll improve. Same with the best artists in the world. It just takes a little while to get there. I'm hoping to really get a lot of progress done on the roof today. <laughs> the first thing that I want to do is not kill myself by choking. Is uh, is add some greenery around, the, uh, around some of the edges here. Some stuff like this, right? And then wasted space like that, that, that little area there we ain't ever gonna be able to fit anything in there so let's make it a feature let's do something with it make it look interesting um you know get some different heights of some different you know of, of bushes around that area and then instantly from this side when you're walking down the path it looks really cool that area's being filled up and when you're above you can see some stuff. There's some stuff poking up, some different heights, some different colours. Really, really cool thing to do. So we want to do this sort of around a lot of the areas. I don't know if I want to do it all of the way. Yeah, definitely all the way around here, that's for sure. Fill up this this spot here with it. Get some different heights. I wouldn't go any taller than that if I were you. I would, I would keep it at, at that sort of height. Um, and sort of only have one or two points at that height or everything else try and keep below most of it to be fair Should probably be only one block deep anyway like one block high and then you just want to use two blocks high to Make it look a little bit more full and then three blocks high are the sort of detailed sections the bits that you really want to stand out So we're gonna have it something like this And something like some different different looking bushes then going around the side the other thing that i want to do is you know we've got this really cool glass section that goes above here i love that look and i would really like to do one on like this side and that side we don't really totally have the room for it but i would like to have two strips like two two archways going over but i i don't know where to fit them in um unless we sort of start it elevated hey that could work if i got i want snow block oh by the way i don't know if you saw for the uh, checker pattern i used pillared quartz to get this cool square and then what is just but mossy um mossy cobblestone i think it is or mossy, mossy stone but in the city texture pack that i've made obviously it's a, a more of a blank texture very very nice but if let's say we we, we pillared up let's see we don't have too much room. Where can I go? Where have I got an even block? An even space on either side. I could go there and there. And I want to go up to around that amount. But then what I want to do is I wanted to arch up and then back down somewhere over there. Fill the middle up with glass and oh, it's I hope it's going to look absolutely phenomenal. Uh, really, really sort of nice touch. So what we want to do is start off with a slow curve of maybe every two blocks. Oops, something like this. I think that's the sort of curve that we want. And then we want to start curving it slower. That's the sort of most urgent bit of the curve. So I think we want to start doing every three blocks now. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then start curving it longer. So I'm going to go actually four on that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I think that's about as high as I want to go. It's now the tallest part of the ship. Some very standout detail sections. So we want to go onto this side now. Line up where it is, which is going to be on this line. In fact, that's pretty perfect. And this line right here. 
pillar those up to the same amount as what it was on the other side. I don't know how high it was. I can use the coords. That'll be the easiest way. Instead of trying to judge it by eye. What is up with my hair today? I've only just recently got out of the shower. So I apologise for my, for my slightly damp hair. Which seems to stick no matter what way. I bet if I take these headphones off. You'll see a line. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> is there a line where the hair is... I'm sure you're probably not meant to um, wear headphones with wet hair. Probably can't be good for you. Uh, we want... Uh, 93. 93. That's easy to remember. So, if I jump on here, I would say this is 95, I guess. Yeah, 94, 93. So, that height is what we need it to go up to. And then, we need to count how many sets of two we had. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sets of two, 4 sets of 3. 5 sets of 2 and 4 sets of 3. One, two, three, four, five. One, oops, two, three, four. Now we should be pretty close to each other now, yeah. So then we need to go four, yeah, four, four, and then the top. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And voila. I think I might actually remove that top one and join them up like that. So, I need to do that another four times and put glass in the middle. I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm going to cut it out, get as much done as we possibly can fit in today. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is definitely exactly what I wanted. I'm just adding some uh, cobblestone walls underneath it because it was very white. Looked very plain. This is just going to add not only uh, another colour, uh, but a little bit of depth because obviously the cobblestone wall isn't quite as big as a full block. So you get that sort of interesting little sort of shadow effect going on. But let me just get all the way down to the bottom and then I shall back off and show you. It looks totally awesome. Check this out. Oh yes. That's so modern. So, so sleek. Cool. I love it. I love it. I still <laughs> need to give it about a test boat. But how cool does that look? Especially when we get this last building up. Um, or that last section. I've got to call it a building. Up in the sky. That'll really sort of finish off that. But when we back off, it's so cool to have that extra, extra little bit. And I think we've got the curve really nice as well. I absolutely uh, love it. I don't know what I should put out here. This part is inaccessible. You can't get around there unless I make a hole in there. But what am I going to put out there? I don't know. Maybe we should keep that blank. Unless you guys have a specific idea that you think would look really cool in there. I don't know. But let's grab this blue. Because it's been a while since we've actually <laughs> dressed up this elevator area. We should have the blue down the bottom. And uh, again, we can make these elevators work. We can use command blocks in order to actually uh, teleport ourselves up and down. Sort of how I did with the um, uh, the skyscrapers on the uh, in the city, which is uh, right nearby, obviously. If you're new to this series or new to the channel, we're building this cruise ship on one of our other series worlds where we're building an entire city with uh, cars and all sorts of crazy cool stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just showing the world, therefore, which is why we have the same texture pack on here. Obviously, it would be silly building this in a different texture pack if it was in the same world as our normal one, uh, as our city. Do you know what I mean? It, it would be sort of messed up. Okay, beautiful. I like that. Uh, we're probably going to want to have some sort of... I think andesite would actually work really well. Andesite slabs in here is the floor to the uh, elevators. It's just something a little bit darker, almost sort of metallic when used in that way. I like it. I do have a painting. What is that? Paint tool. Would you look at that? I have no idea if you can change the colour to it at all. You must be able to. I can do graffiti on the wall. Man, we're going to be doing that in some place. I don't know where. Oh. Um. I can't see it from that side. I'm just always looking at it from this. I don't know what's going on there. I'll, there must be a way to, <laughs> to fix it. Um. <laughs> there's got to be a way. I do have a painting, though. A little one-by-one one painting uh, of a little elevator button thing. There we go. 
made a little elevator button thing. That's what I had inside the uh, skyscraper. So we might as well have it in here as well. It just makes sense. So we'll have these down. Any time today. There we go. Those in there. And I can wire those up to actually work at some point as well. So we need some more leaves. Uh, really sort of green up this area a little bit. Um, I think a nice fountain would go in really nice there. Let's remove this. Instead of the greenery in this part, let's take this away and make this red go around here. And then, uh, what did I use in the floor of the swimming pool? Whatever block I used, I'll use it over here. Just normal quartz. Beautiful. Ooh, let me swim. Get out. And stick that down here. Just a little shallow uh, fountain. We still have the jacuzzi to do on the other side. We've still got a lot to do, man. And this... <laughs> This is just on the outside. This is not including the interior yet. So I'll put that one there. And I think... How would I do... How would I want to do this? I could put the water in there and it flows out here. What does that look like if we do that? There we go. Now, if I make this all a solid... Yeah, that sort of looks pretty cute. I like that. Um, iron bars... I have changed the texture of iron bars very slightly. You guys might not even be able to notice. Um, but instead of having the, the iron bars that sort of... Um, the pattern usually goes up. If you look at iron bars on your world, they sort of go up diagonally. These won't. These are sort of straight lines uh, I made them to. I just think they look a little bit better than our normal iron bars. I might also clean up the texture a little bit as well. Because at the moment, one... I've got these two dark blocks there, and it makes it look like it's broken or snapped. And there's also a lot of contrast between the bars as well. So I might actually make the uh, bars a little bit more of a similar grays going on. Uh, not quite as urgent differences, and then it might look, make it look cleaner. I don't know, but that looks really cool like that anyway. Okay, so, so we want some um, some greenery, I think, over here. Let's grab them. Behind the tennis courts here. Just sort of dre oops, dress it up like this. Doesn't really matter how you do it. I'm sort of spamming them along. And then doing a, a like a one on the second level. Whenever I sort of feel like it is necessary. Of different lengths. Sometimes one block. Sometimes two blocks. Sometimes three. Very rarely will I go over three blocks though. We'll just have them all the way. Along the end. Beautiful. That fills up that beautifully on the end there. Makes it look uh, not quite as, as blank there. And I think that's about all I really want for this section. What we can do in this gap right there is put down some of these. Oops, I grabbed string. That one and that one. And these will go beautifully in the middle. Now, we do have a center point, so we need to put the chair there and there. And one here. And I think I can fit one more in like that. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the tables between them. With a little red carpet on top. Oh, careful. Nail it. Got them. Okay, beautiful. That fills up. Oh, hiccups, that area, super nicely. The white paths now are really blending in, really looking uh, like part of the ship instead of being so vibrant and uh, outstanding as they were in the last episode. That's starting to look a lot better. So we need uh, the jacuzzi here. Now, I can move the jacuzzi back, and I think I will. Just a slight smidge by two blocks, I think. Pull it away from that path a little bit. And I can probably come back, I think, maybe three blocks on this side to sort of make the jacuzzi slightly larger as well. It would be cool if we could make it a little bit more of an interesting shape as well. So maybe... Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We can have these seats then around the side slab. We can have these uh, cool little seats around here. Oops, I want to go underneath. Now that's on the bottom half of the block. So if I... Why well, have I got two of the same? Oops. Put these underneath here. 
that makes ourselves like a little half slab seat to be able to sit on while you're in the jacuzzi. And then we're going to want to have some seats on this side as well. And underneath there. I'm going to want to grab the pillar quartz to go around this edge of this. And have these going around here. Whoops. And then fill it up with water. I think we'll probably do a similar pattern as what we had on the uh, swimming pool. And then it all um, is sort of themed that way. We've all got sort of similar blocks going on throughout the roof. I really like these seats though. It's a perfect, perfect little block for it. Okay, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Uh, we don't really need it that deep. What block did we use on the side? I think it was just quartz, wasn't it? Oh no, we do, sir. Uh, that block. I think I only want this one block deep. So I'm going to grab that and the quartz. Yeah, I think one block deep uh, would be uh, would be the best. So we'll have these down there, there, and there. I like that. <laughs> when you do a pattern slightly wrong and it works out to be uh, to look better. Yeah, beautiful. And put that one in there. Okay, quartz along the bottom here. I don't know if we're going to need any lighting in the jacuzzi. It might not be big enough or deep enough to uh, to warrant it. We'll just have to have a look. I might have to set it to night time as, as well to really tell if we need uh, any more lighting on the ship itself. I don't think we've looked at this at night at all. We've had a look at it in the shader pack, but that's about it. Water. And I've rebooted my computer, so as you can see, it's not quite as stuttery now. <laughs> when I cover up all of the light in, in the bottom there, make it all shadowed, it sort of uh, fixes itself quite quickly. Okay, that is really cool. And then you can just sort of drop in, sit on the edge, and enjoy a little bit of a hot jacuzzi going on. That's really, really cool. I would, I would love... To have another glass section just on top. Oops, not that one. Another glass section just on top of the uh, the jacuzzi as well. That would look sick. Sort of like um, the entrance that we have to the hospital in the city world. Uh, over there somewhere. Um, we have a uh, an ambulance uh, hospital. And above the main door, there's this sort of uh, glass top above it covering the door. So you don't get wet as you're walking in and out or waiting or whatever like that. And, uh, yeah, I think it would be perfect to have a little bit of glass on this end. So we can have a, I reckon that's about the right size. And then if we do it on here, and we go up every two blocks, I think that's sort of enough. I don't think I want to come out any further than that. Do I? Or I come out one more. Well, if I come out one more above that, we then cover the entire jacuzzi. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Maybe actually remove those ones and just put that one there. And... Uh, I don't... Is that even in line with each other? They're not... Ah. <laughs> that one. I think I'm, I think I'm a half a slab off. Bottom half... Top half. Oh, I am. Uh, that one, that one. Like this. Okay, put white stained glass between them. Uh, white. And do we want to have a, a part down the middle? Probably. We should have one down the middle as well. Like that. And then glass will go on this level. I feel like I missed one. I did. And this one, and this one, and then go up for probably another four. Let me probably go all the way to the end, in fact. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking about slabbing the front. Yeah. No, I think that looks good. So we'll slab along the front as well. Put the glass down the side. Did I miss any spots? I don't think I did. So it's uh, four blocks by uh, five blocks in each section. And I think even on the top, it's four by five. Yeah, two f five by fives on the top. Wonderful. 
Do we need any checkered pattern around the jacuzzi or do we like it with the sort of birch wood surrounding it? I think when we get some more deck chairs and stuff down, I think that'll really help. Quartz and slabs. Put some around here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sounds like a good number. <laughs> Getting cave sounds. Three, four, five, six. There, 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 and there. Fence. And red carpet. To go on here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Put these along the top. Uh, we might want to do some umbrellas in this section as well. We didn't do any umbrellas behind the elevators because we didn't have the room. But in this area, I think, especially over this side, we probably do. In fact, I think we're going to do it on that one right there. There's enough room around it. So if we do that. Now, what was it? Three fences high. Let's just go over there and grab the stuff that we need. We need the orange and we need the string. One, two, three. Yeah, three blocks high with a slab on top. Super easy to remember. One, two, three. Slab on top. String around this level. Uh, uh. So hard to tell when you place them down or not. And then put these around here. So it's two tables in from the far edge. This one right here. One, two. Slab on top. Put the string around the outside. Did I place... I think I placed the string on the floor then no nothing I can't see anything okay beautiful so that's really cool let me build this middle this, this sort of last building up to about a height that I like and then I shall be back for the uh, for the next part okay starting to all come together now excellent okay so it's all up at the same height now I don't want to go any taller than that because it's gonna look very straight and bulky otherwise what we need to do now is we need to make sure that we get this sort of bulgy sort of effect going on so the next layer up above this we can put some windows in there if we want to but the next layer above this we want to have one block wider like this I think maybe even with the gray and uh, the cyan sorry and red clay Cyan and red same as what we have on the side of the ship. So uh, what was it cyan at the bottom? I think wasn't it cyan at the bottom red on top Red on the bottom cyan on top. Okay, good had to double check you don't want to make those sort of silly mistakes red on the bottom and Then the cyan on top that'll give us a really nice bulge Then we come back to the layer of white down here and then I want to have a window section a 360 degree in fact window section going all the way around I think it might be best to actually maybe drop it in one or two blocks so so let's do another layer of snow and then another layer of snow but diagonally up and then this is where the blue stained glass is gonna go if I could spell blue blue stained glass panes are gonna go uh, for either two or three blocks in height, that would be one. This is not easy. <laughs> two. Now, is that a good height, or would we want to go... Oh, hiccups higher. Um, no, I reckon we could probably... Go up. No, hang on. Full glass blocks could be better than, than the, uh, the panes here. Because then we can actually angle the windows back and not have to have them going straight up. You can't really angle with panes. Um, if we done this and then we done this and then we done one on top of that. So it doesn't go back all the way. It just sort of leans back very slightly. Then we have snow level above here. And that's made the middle section a little bit smaller, so it's not quite as a, a bigger hole as uh, we had before. We could fit two chimneys on there as well. That could be really cool. It'd be like a real powerful um, 
uh, cruise ship as well. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, let me run that all of the way around the outside, and I shall be back again. All right, so we've got the 360-degree uh, room. I don't know what's going to be up here. Maybe it's a VIP lounge or something. I, I, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. I'm just making it look awesome at the moment. I'm not really thinking at all uh, about the interior. Obviously, if you guys have any ideas on what you would like to see on the inside of the cruise ship, then let me know in the comment section below if you want to see... Uh, uh, I want to do a big stage. Just one that I want to do. I want to do a big stage on these type of cruise ships. They always have um, like like uh, onboard shows and stuff like that, don't they? Uh, you know, singing and, and clowns and uh, sing-alongs for kids and all, all that kind of really cool stuff. Uh, so I want to do a stage, probably like 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 a little semicircle or something like that, with a load of chairs. But if you guys have any other ideas that you'd like to see, then uh, please, please, please let me know because I'd love love to hear some uh, some really cool uh, interior ideas. This is this top is now really starting to all fit together like a giant jigsaw piece. I love that. That is such a really cool uh, touch for the back of the ship there. The arches, absolutely fantastic. Next episode, I'm hoping to get the entire top done. Like the top on top of the uh, part here. Fill in any more other little bits that we need to do. Any other deck chairs and things like that. And uh, I can't wait. I shall see you guys in the next video.